All right, guys, this is going to be a little bit of a trial run to see if any of this works, because as you know, we've had some recent computer issues in the math class. So one of our first lessons here is 1.2, and that's powers and exponents. And you can see that my pen does not want to work. So that's going to make it interesting right away. So I'm going to go over my computer and start clicking. And that does work. And the first thing we have here is some vocabulary. First vocabulary is factors. Factors are two or more numbers multiplied together to form a product. Product is an answer in multiplication. The factors are the numbers used to get the product. They're the ones that are multiplied by each other. Next, we have an exponent. An exponent tells how many times the base is used as a factor. Okay, when we use exponents, we're going to have numbers multiplied by itself multiple times. Okay, that leads us into the base, which is the common factor when using exponents. Okay, so if we had, for example, 3 to the 4th power, we'd have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Notice I used 3 a lot of times. 3 would be my base. Okay? The exponent tells me how many times I'm multiplying by 3. 4 times. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Which brings us to our last term of powers. Powers is a word used for numbers expressed using exponents. So 3 to the fourth power is just saying that we're going to use 3 as a base multiple times. So you see here I have a little diagram that gives you an example of this. 16 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is the same as 2 to the fourth. 2 is our factor. Okay, It's being used as the base. We're saying our base of 2, which is going to be our factor, is going to be multiplied by itself four times. Four is our exponent. So the base of two multiplied by itself four times gives us two times two times two times two, or two to the fourth power, all equals 16. What we'll do is we'll write powers as a product of the same factor, and that's taking the short form and making it long. So instead of saying I had seven to the fifth power, I would say I had seven times seven times seven times seven times seven. Okay, so I'm taking it from the short version and making it long. That's the nice thing about exponents is it allows us to write longer problems in a shorter form, but it represents something. Okay, and that's what we'll be talking about when we get into our lessons here uh, the next uh, tomorrow.